an introduction made me very kind. And I thank you, Louisa, and I thank all of you. Um, I don't think it's really necessary for me to tell my family, my friends, and extended family and friends what an honor it is for me to be here with you this evening. My two precious brothers and my dad. Great party. We're 
Grand South Museum. But when all the partying is over, then decide what you truly want to stand for in life and go after it. We must live consciously and by the principles that we decide to bring to our life. And the principles in life, I will tell each of you graduates, principles only mean something when it's hard and inconvenient to stick by them. But your integrity is not for sale. It will never be for sale. And once you establish the principles by which to live your own life, then you will know the path that you want to take. What will matter for eternity will not be what you did in the eyes of the world, but it will be how good you were in the eyes of God. That is what will matter for eternity. It won't always be easy to make the right choices, but life doesn't have to be easy to be wonderful if you're making the right choices. The difficulty of your success in life, no matter what your career path will be, never relieves you of the responsibility to try. Remember that. That is so important because very few good things in life will come to you easily. The measure of true love for all of us is to love without measure. And when you are doing for others, when you are walking the path of privilege, but you're not leaving the less privileged behind, that is true love. I learned the meaning of unconditional love from my mother, my father, and then by being a mother. But being a volunteer opened my heart. It opened my soul. And it taught me things that you can learn from no other path in life. Honor your calling, honor your parents, honor your ancestors. And when you walk the path of privilege, you're not leaving anybody behind. The good that you feel inside of you, the good you're doing, will take you to walks of life you never thought possible. I myself can tell you that being a volunteer and doing for the less fortunate was not something I could try. It was not something I thought of in high school. I didn't know that I would ever, to the degree that I have, serve the less fortunate. But it has truly been, other than the birth of my three children, the most meaningful, meaningful days of my life. I lost something. And I don't want to forget it, so please bear with me. Anne Frank wrote in the age of 13 how wonderful it is that nobody need wait a moment to begin to improve the world. And I would tell you today, don't wait a moment to begin to improve the world that you live in. There's nothing wrong with being confounded by your future today. You're in your early 20s. You're supposed to be. But at the end of your life, remember that.